Hello, most high saints of God on this last Sunday evening. The calmness and putting away of the day. Just been sitting here trying to bask in God's presence and constantly stand on the threshold floor today because the enemy is always busy. And when you begin to uproot a thing, it's just like roots can connect to other roots. And you got to be able to know that you're sowing back the word of God to seal that whole problem. So my sisters and brothers in Christ, I'm basking in, you know, preparing to do the Bible study for tomorrow. And God was just dropping in my spirit of how Ezekiel was a priest for 29 years, tending the things of the temple. Reading the Torah um, and making a time for the sins of the people, basically standing in the gap for the people in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. Just preparing the things. And it takes time to, to prepare yourself and to learn the ways of God in order before you go stand before the people. And then God at the age 30, God called. He went from being a priest to being called a prophet in this place in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. So it takes time to, to be able to stand before God's people in the name of Jesus. So that you will know that you're speaking and professing God's word properly in this place. And as God began to talk to me about um, standing as a priest and being becoming a prophet in the oracle mouthpiece of God, I'm it's just constantly John the Baptist and Jesus child is just constantly being summoned in my spirit and how as a true follower of Christ that you want to stand that trial before the uh, the Pharisees and the Sadducees those who are going to question your call in this place in the name of Jesus I glorify God in this place uh, but as they question Jesus uh, and he was the ultimate sign to uh, redeem the people for their sins because he was sent into the world to save the world in the name of Jesus even though as they saw him as John the Baptist the king of the Jews in the name of Jesus uh, and Judas uh, sold Jesus um, for a few pieces of corn and it, it became blood money and a lot of people have a lot of blood money uh, in, uh, in their hands in the name of Jesus for a life and for a lifestyle that you cannot you cannot maintain it in this place and, and as uh, God is talking to me about this I'm viewing over John the Baptist's life because they said it's Jesus John the Baptist in the name of Jesus uh, you know John the Baptist he spoke against the sin and Jesus was son to die for the sins. But because the kings of the land had blood money and blood on their hands for beheading John the Baptist off of the strippers dancing. And you got some strippers, you got some haters in this land. And they're using that body to get what they want to try to curse your life. But I was sunk here today to tell you that every curse that the strippers dance is Herodotus daughter is trying to place against your life. It has been counseled right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, it is cursed at the root and it shall not prosper in this place in the name of Jesus. And according to Psalms 109, in the name of Jesus, 109 and 6, he has set a wicked man uh, in the name of Jesus over him in the name of Jesus because they meant you evil in the name of Jesus. Now evil shall rule, rest, rule, and abide over them in the name of Jesus. Uh, that's why they wrestle with depression in the name of Jesus. They're wrestling with depression. They're wrestling with suicidal thoughts in the name of Jesus because they had came against you to cause a, a death for you along your destiny in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. Uh, thank you Holy Spirit. Loose the word of God in the name of Jesus uh, because blood money for uh, John the Baptist's head, Jesus' blood was shedding for the kings of the land. They they, uh, they was not worried about uh, them being saved. What it was, it said blood money. They wanted Jesus' blood because they wanted Jesus' power. They wanted Jesus' 
position in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. Uh, so they, they shed blood in this place in the name of Jesus. But the very blood that they shed in the very, they meant it for evil, but God meant it for your good. Because the very blood that was shed it was the very blood that redeemed them in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. And it rent the veil so that we can come boldly unto the throne of grace. Uh, so whatever that was, what the enemy meant for evil, God meant it for your good. You shed, you have already and you shall rise above it. It's just a trial in the name of Jesus. It's just a test in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I glorify God in this place. And you shall reap if you faint not on this most high, lovely day in Christ Jesus. I'm going to sit here for a little while long and meditate on the word of God and seal some things and, and just allow God's presence to keep saturating this building. I walked in this place the other day. And I tell you what, it was such a glory. I mean, the glory of peace. And God said, this is your, your place of peace right here in the name of Jesus. It was just in this area right here when I walked through the door. It's like I, it was just like, a, a, I mean, uh, an atmosphere of glory. I mean, like a light. It was no light, but I felt a light glory of peace. Stress ruling the body right here so i know the lord is in this place i know that the lord is birthing the word out of your sister girl's belly for those who are seeking right now in this hour in this time get your prayer request in and if you don't want to get your prayer request in in the name of jesus just hey i feel you in the spirit because god will allow that to open up in the spirit in the name of jesus i glorify god in this place but don't worry about them dropping it like it's hot in the name of Jesus, thank you, God, for loosening. I glorify God in this place. Uh, every drug addiction that they have sucked out in the name of Jesus over your life. They have spoken negative, every negative thought against your life. It has been counseled right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you shall be whole in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you have already been delivered in the name of Jesus. I glorify God. I order right now every drug addiction to curse in the name of Jesus. Every uh, line of harlotry that they have spoken out of your destiny, it does not have no power. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for loosening the word. What they're doing is, in the name of Jesus, uh, these, these, uh, these some corrupt religious leaders, political leaders, in the name of Jesus, they're using the Herodic dance in the name of Jesus to curse the life of those whom they have feared. And, but you know what? What God has branded and what God has ordained, can no man is plucking up out of his hand. It shall do what God's word set it out to do. So, God says the reason why you see so many people that is flocking unto uh, certain people who stand in position of leadership and they're speaking over their lives in the name of Jesus because that's what they're worshiping in the name of Jesus. Uh, it is, uh, it's like whenever they speak out into the atmosphere, uh, they're speaking through you to somebody else in the name of Jesus. But what God says I need for you to do, I need for you to speak out into the atmosphere, into the realms in the name of Jesus. Because every demonic imp, imp in their spirit, those big old crowds that you see and all those followers that you see, God says uh, those are worshipers of Satan in the name of Jesus. Uh, every last one of them have worshipped Satan to draw that which what they're worshipping. It is coming and it is seeking. And the spirit in them, it is seeking in the name of Jesus. I glory because like they said, whenever you cast out a demon, it, it, it rolls through and fro in the name of Jesus. I glorify God in this place. It rolls through and fro seeking a place to rest. But when it cannot find a place to rest, it'll return back unto which way it comes from seven with seven more seven more bow spirits in the name of Jesus he said that's nothing but a group in he says the time is going to come that's nothing but a group of lame sheep that is uh, possessed in the name of Jesus because whenever you got depression in the name of Jesus that means you are out of the covenant of God and you have been possessed cancer sickness he said that is a possession and somebody in your line has stepped out of the under the covenant off and up under the wings of the shadow of mine because when you are uh, covered by the blood, you cannot be possessed. You can only be oppressed inside this place. 
No sickness nor disease shall come nigh your dwelling. And whatever they have sunk out of your life, it has been counseled right now. Every witchcraft prayer has been counseled right now. Every sin, it has been counseled right now. The poverty bed that they have set for you, it has been counseled right now. And the floodgates of heaven is coming in the name of Jesus. I glorify. His word shall not return unto him void.